Hello. Well, you're new here. Hi. How you doing? I was sent a link to this Super Bowl commercial, and I, I have to speak out on it. And um, I just have to say at the beginning of this video, all the videos that you see on this channel are um, meant to educate, inform, rebuke, exhort, comfort the Church of the Living God. And those who are seeking our Lord Jesus Christ, God, our Father. And I'm going to be commenting on this video um, for the intention of educating people onto certain methods of propaganda. Okay, I'm going to be linking two videos in this video. I'm going to be linking an older video which is entitled Psychological War Tactics and the Media. <clears throat> and you and I, if you're lost, let's reason together, you and I, okay? One of the things that the Lord put upon me to learn about was propaganda, the methods of propaganda and whatnot, that kind of things, and the way that they implement it through media. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what are you doing watching TV? Okay, repent of that. Okay, you want a surefire way to not ever catch the coronavirus? Don't watch TV. Okay? Okay? <clears throat> Don't watch TV. Now, before we begin... Uh, this video that uh, I'm going to comment on. If you have what is called the authorized version of the scriptures, what is that? That is the King James Version. This is the authorized version of the scriptures. I would encourage you to go into the scriptures, which is towards the back of the book, to the book called the Book of Revelation. Okay? <clears throat> Go to Revelation chapter 14. Okay? Now, very quickly, the book of Revelation is describing and talking about what is known as the time of Jacob's trouble, falsely referred to as the Great Tribulation. Okay? Scripturally, it is called the time of Jacob's trouble. It is the time of Jacob's trouble. Who is Jacob? Israel. Okay? The church of the living God, inaccurately referred to as Christians, are going to be leaving before the time of Jacob's trouble. Uh, the Lord will, uh, it's the redemption of the purchased possession, the catching away, falsely referred to as the Rapture, okay? We, the Church of the Living God, are going to be caught up before the time of Jacob's trouble. And during that time period, there is one who is going to go forth on the earth. He is called the Son of Perdition. Again, inaccurate, inaccurately referred to as the Antichrist. He's Antichrist, which is a description of what he is. But the Antichrist is not in Scripture, the son of perdition, also referred to as the beast. Okay, He's going to go forth conquering and to conquer once we, the church of the living God, are caught up, redeemed, resurrected. Okay, And hence we'll begin the time of Jacob's trouble. And during that time period, <clears throat> there is going to be something called the mark of the beast. Revelation chapter 14. Okay, like I said, it's toward the back of the scriptures. Okay, please use the authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures. Okay, 
Now, Revelation chapter 14, verses 16 on to verse 18. Um, you come to this channel, you want to, to learn, you want to, uh, you're seeking, follow me along in the scriptures, okay? <clears throat> Revelation chapter 14, verses 16 on to verse 18. And he causeth all, who is the he? The son of perdition, okay? Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the number of the beast, or the name of the beast, excuse me, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Six, six, six. Okay? Six, six, six. What is interesting, six, six, six equates in ancient dialect, whether it is Hebrew um, or Aramaic, whatever it is, but when you look into 666 in ancient alphabet, it's equated to WWW. And for those playing the home game, what is WWW? World Wide Web. Okay? Okay? But it says, <clears throat> and that no man, in verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now see, this is during the time of Jacob's trouble. This is not applicable for today, right now, present, uh, what is it? February 19th, 2021, okay? Why is that? Because the church of the living God is still with on the earth, okay? We're still here. Hence, the son of perdition will not be revealed until after we, the church of the living God, get caught up, okay? I have an expository video on Second Thessalonians chapter 2, okay? There is an error in that which is addressed, and the links are in the description of that video, okay? But the primary teaching about the um, Church of the Living God getting caught up before the Son of Perdition is revealed is well documented in that video. I'm going to link both of them within this video as well, okay? This happens after we're gone, okay? Okay? That is called rightly dividing the word of truth, otherwise known as dispensations, okay? The book of Revelation is describing the dispensation of the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? And towards the latter end of the book of Revelation talks about the kingdom of heaven, the thousand-year reign of our Lord Jesus Christ on the earth, ruling and reigning from Jerusalem, and talks about eternity, okay? Okay? That, that's very simple, okay? But it says during this time that there's going to be a mark of the beast and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark of the beast. Okay? What happens if you take this mark of the beast? In Revelation chapter 14. <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> Revelation chapter 14. All right? <clears throat> we will read from verse 7 on to verse 11 in Revelation chapter 14. What happens if you take this mark? Because during this time, the son of perdition is going to go forth conquering and to conquer. And in his wake, he's going to leave a whole bunch of destruction. Okay? 
the economies of the world are going to be devastated because of this. Okay? It's working to that end right now. Okay? It's working on to that end right now. And the Jesuits are the ones who are promulgating that. Who are the Jesuits, you might ask? I'm going to put a link in this video as well for a documentary about the Jesuit order. If you don't know who they are, that will help you out, okay? But what happens if someone during this time period takes the mark of the beast? <clears throat> Revelation chapter 14, verses 7 on to verse 11. Okay. Now let's start at verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth, and the sea and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Who is Babylon talking about right here? Uh, that would be Roman Catholicism. I'm going to put another link in this video talking about who Mystery Babylon is. Okay? <clears throat> Let's read verse 8 again. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, okay, you're worshiping the beast, the son of perdition, wrongly referred to as the Antichrist, okay. Um, what does it say here? Uh, if any man worship the beast and his image, comma, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, okay, you're doing all of that when you receive the mark in your hand or in your forehead, okay? The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented those who take the mark, with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. <clears throat> and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever Whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Whosoever. What does that mean? Look at me. That means anybody. Okay? That means anybody. There are those out there who call themselves Christians. Who say that to get saved today, you just got to believe. Just believe. In the book of James... Chapter 1. Go find this on your own time, please. It says, The devils also believe and tremble. Might be chapter 2, now that I'm thinking about it. But in the book of James, it says, The devils also believe and tremble. Okay? They're called easy believism heretics. They like to skip over scriptural repentance which is being broken and having contrition, otherwise called godly sorrow, okay? They like to skip over that and tell you just believe. They're doing that. So when we, the church of the living God, which is the ground and pillar of the truth, get redeemed, caught up, they're telling you that. So when you are left behind going into that time period, you're going to take the mark of the beast thinking that I'm saved because I just believe. Okay? When we just looked at, it says, whosoever, in uh, Revelation chapter 14. Okay? 
eternal security, which is for us today in this dispensation, referred to as the time of the Gentiles. Watch the video that I'm going to be linking called Let Us Reason Together, You and I. Okay, watch that, please. Okay, this dispensation, the time of the Gentiles, is coming to an end. This time is the easiest to get saved. The hard part is you got to get over yourself. Okay? You got to give over yourself and repent of yourself and turn unto the Lord. Okay? And trust on Him. Okay? You get me so far? All this stuff, dear friend, the face masks, the vaccine is preparing you to take this very mark of the beast. And you know what your problem is, buddy? If you're watching television, TV, this kind of stuff is being fed to you. Propaganda. With subliminal messaging. Okay? All right? So, with that said, we're going to go through this video, all right? And I'm going to pause it here, and I'm going to make some comments on this, okay? Now, my wife and I both watched this, and we were both like, wow. Because when you look at these things, when you see these things, you need to see them for what they truly are. Jesuit-created, Jesuit-influenced propaganda. Okay? So, with that, let us begin. Okay? Let us begin. Let's hold the line. Protect it. Fight for it. I close my eyes and I pray for Let's hold. Now, very quickly. You heard pray for it. And see that image right there with the uh, with the praying of the uh, people holding someone's hands and they said pray, okay? Now here's the thing that they're doing. This started with showing and the things like that. You saw the guy spraying the barber chair, right? What are they uh, subliminally, uh, subliminally telling you, okay? With this associating association onto prayer. Okay, that it's a good thing for you to put that stupid spit shield on you and to spray everything down, right? When you look in the book of Leviticus chapter 13, do that on your own time, please. Uh, the Lord tells us that if someone who had leprosy, okay, leprosy, the only thing that they were to do were to cover their upper lip. And that sick people, those who were infected, were to be isolated. Okay? And that has not changed today. Okay? Proper scriptural, scientific scriptural evidence on how to deal something of that nature. The Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, has given to us in the scriptures. Those who are sick are to be isolated. Healthy people are not to be isolated, nor to put a covering upon their upper lip. And if you search the scriptures, the scriptures say on their upper lip, not their nose. Because guess what there, friend? When you're carrying your nose like that, right, with that stupid mask, what are you doing? You're breathing in your own CO2. Okay, you breathe in. Exhaust. Exiting, okay? You're putting the face mask on. You're breathing in your own CO2, dear friend. Okay? That's not healthy for you. Okay? That's not healthy for you. Right? Do you, you understand that? But see, they who made this are equating all these unscientific measures onto something religious. See, 
Okay, do you see that? Because they, they show the mask, spit guards the spray, and they go right to prayer. Okay, do you see that? Let's continue. Hold the line. Sacrifice for it. No, I got to be brave. Stand strong for it. Let's look out for each other. We are so close. So close. Hold on. Soon we will be well. Okay. Now, we're so close. Let us stand strong. And they show you the assembly line of the vaccine, right? And then they show you, show someone getting stabbed in the arm, receiving the vaccine, and being paraded on by, on by a wheelchair. And people are clapping. It's a good thing to take the vaccine, right? And when you look into the vaccine, the vaccine has a DNA altering agent called Lucifrage or something like that. Luciferage or whatever like that. It's a DNA altering agent. Okay. I'm also going to put a link in this video uh, for what is known as the Funvax. The Funvax. Okay. I'm going to put a, a link for that in this video as well. So to look at that. Okay. But notice. Okay. They went through that procession on the uh, assembly line of the vaccines. Right. You saw all that telling you, get the vaccine, you get the vaccine, yay, yay, good for you. And what happens after you get the vaccine? Are these people wearing masks? Huh? Look at it. We were. Touching. Loving. Living. And there they finish it up right there. Because, okay, once you take the vaccine, you can go back to normal, right? Return to the way we were, which uh, we're going to go and listen to that again because of the way I paused it, you didn't hear it. But they're showing us, okay, you take the vaccine, yay, go back to normal. And here they remind you of what is right now to enforce onto you that um, you need to take the vaccine, okay? Okay? This is... This is classic propaganda, okay? Now, check this out, okay? Listen to this. Soon we will be what we were. Ah, Got to go back a little bit more to be what we were so you can hear it yourself, okay? And there, there, they're cheering because the guy got the vaccine, right? Okay. Soon we will be what we were. So we will be what we were. What were we before all of this happened? Evil, wicked. America, an ungodly nation. Okay? And on that, please turn in your authorized version of the scriptures to 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 on to verse 17. 15 on the verse 17 in 1 John chapter 2. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Who is in charge of this world? Who is allowed to have reign over this world? Okay, the Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, he is in control of all things. But he has allowed someone other than himself to be put in charge of this world. Okay? He's in charge. The Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, is in charge of everything. Okay? He's God. Okay? But he has allowed someone else to be in control of this world as a form of judgment upon it. Who is that? For, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 
2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 under verse 4. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the little g, God of this world, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Who is the little g God of this world? Go in your authorized version of the scriptures to Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. <clears throat> Luke chapter 4, verse 3. And the devil, who is the devil? Lucifer, Satan. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. The devil taking him up into an high mountain shewed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and all the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. Here's the catch. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. Satan, say, For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. The little g God of this world, people, is Satan. Okay? His church is the Roman Catholic Church. And his army. Jesuits. Okay. Okay. This, dear friend, this Super Bowl commercial. Okay. This, I mean, you can see this a mile away. Okay. This is the type of propaganda that they utilized in Nicaragua and other parts of the world. Not with the same kind of imagery, but this type of propaganda, okay? This is a formula of propaganda that they are using, dear friend, okay? If you're not saved, and you're falling for this, you're in a heap of trouble, dear friend. You're in a heap of trouble. Touching, loving, living, and this is for a Ford car company, right? Ford? Yeah. 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 Whatever. Whatever. Okay? Yeah, that... Dear friend. Dear, dear friend. It's mind control. Propaganda. Making you think. You need the vaccine. See, what it's doing is it's preparing you to take the mark of the beast, dear friend. Okay? And you might ask me, well, hey, you, there, you, what, you're not afraid of this stuff? No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to tell you why, see. Okay? In the book of Second Timothy, see, those of us who are of the church of the living God, saved, born again, and converted, okay? We have something that you who are not saved don't. We have the Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, dwelling within us. And the Lord is that spirit, okay? 
2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. We don't have the spirit of fear. Why is that? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 under verse 11. <clears throat> but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. In smoke and joke, and the uh, uh, president to be very soon Kamala Harris saying stuff like we need peace and safety you want peace and safety take the vaccine hey see they showed you in this little propaganda piece for a car company see you want peace and safety take the vaccine take the vaccine that has aborted children within it, okay? And has DNA altering agents within it. And that's something, huh? Let's continue this. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. For that, for they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Our salvation. Okay. See, today... We who are of the church of the living God, who are saved, born again, converted, we are sealed unto the day of redemption. That seal means uh, when the Lord comes and redeems his purchased possession, those who he has purchased, those who are saved, born again, converted. Okay? We of the church of the living God are the Lord's purchased possession. And the redemption of the purchased possession is the catching away. That's our hope. That is our hope. See. Okay. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, those of us who are saved, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Those of us who are saved, we die right here, right now. We're absent from the body, present, to, uh, present with the Lord. Okay. We are sealed. We are eternally secure. Okay, we're going to heaven. All right? You want to go to heaven? Please watch that video, Let Us Reason Together, you and I. Please watch it. Yeah, it's two hours. What, you're willing to sit through a two-hour Hollywood movie, which is there to entertain you. But you won't watch something that's pertinent to your salvation? Hmm. Hmm. But see, verse 9 says, For God hath not appointed us to wrath. The time of Jacob's trouble, dear friend, wrongly called the great tribulation, is the time of God's wrath. Okay? And it's for the Jews, not the church, like the Roman Catholics like to tell you. Okay? That's God's wrath. And we, his body, the church of the living God, we are not appointed to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as, even as also ye do. Okay? See, 
We who are of the church of the living God, dear friend, we're waiting for the blessed hope, the catching away, the purchase of the, um, the redemption of the purchased possession. Okay? That's what we are waiting for. You, dear, dear friend, this vaccine is not the mark of the beast. It's leading up to it. And it's preparing you. It's preparing you, dear friend. It's preparing you for this. You need to wake up. You need to wake up now. Before it is too late for you. Because uh, once we're gone, the church of the living God, this dispensation, the time of the Gentile, changes into the time of Jacob's trouble, where salvation is faith and works. What does that mean? You take that mark of the beast at the beginning of this video, we saw it. You're going to hell. Okay? Please consider these things, dear friend. You're choosing to believe the government, which is controlled by the Jesuits. Who are the Jesuits again? Check the description box. Okay? Please consider these things before it is too late. Thank you so much for watching if you do. Bye-bye.